Good morning, everyone. Welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline. We are sitting in the Goodwill parking lot waiting for the store to open. Today is Friday, and last time we saw each other, we were in Elkview, West Virginia. We went to a Goodwill grand opening, and I thrifted with my two daughters, Melissa and Lisa. So if you missed that video, we had great fun. Roger came along, and Melissa's husband, Barry, was with us, and it was a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. All right, today we're going to hit the ground running we're going to see what we can find to flip for a profit on ebay in my vintage booth and also on facebook marketplace hit the like and subscribe button you're coming in with me all right it feels like it's been a couple of weeks since we have thrifted in this store this is goodwill route 30 lincoln highway i think this goes this way in lancaster pa there's a hand-painted sunflower shelf we find a lot of these peg shelves in this area. We have a very Amish Mennonite rich community here in Lancaster and quite often uh, wood crafting is done and sold in different venues, flea markets, stuff like that. So I often see these peg shelves. Might be nice to have those all around the room so you don't have to fold your clothes or hang them on hangers. You can just put them on a, on a peg. I think I might like that. Maybe, for a little while. Might look messy, not sure. <laughs> All right. What is this? Oh, that was oversprayed big time. Somebody made that, I think. But it looks mass produced. Two sugar balls, a sugar and a sugar. <laughs> That's my kind of caddy. I do have a sweet tooth. All right, we're gonna go down the rabbit hole a lot today, I can tell. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I get off topic and tell stories all the time. And my viewers are just great. They put up with me. That is cute, cute. What is that? Stephen Folk Art. Huh. We got little pictures. What? Little miniatures. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. $1.99 each. Those are sweet. Those are going right in the cart. This one is a framed tile. That would be adorable in a bathroom, wouldn't it? It is a real ceramic tile that somebody has framed. $2.99, we're gonna grab that too. Bathroom art is always a yes when it's really cute or funny or sweet. All right, I wanna see what this is. Le Savon. Wow, that's really nice. I'm not a big fan of the silver frame, $2.99. Right now I have a lot of art in the booth and this one, the paper, see the print is wrinkled. That's a shame because it does have a little bit of age to it. Oh, look at that. There's the evidence, silver paint. Somebody overpainted the gold frame. That is a shame because it would have been better in gold in my opinion. All right, we're gonna put this up here so we can reach this. What is this? Oh, it's very heavy. Love, okay. Love like there's no tomorrow. That is very heavy and very modern. We're gonna wait on that. Wow, lots of interesting things. It's a sunflower plaque. We have a heart with a duck on it. I'm not sure why, that is so country. Oh, how funny is that hand painted? They did a great job. And we have a pig craft made out of beans. I'm not sure what to say about that, but we're going to leave that for somebody else. Once again, the shelves are packed and more is coming out like every few minutes, carts and carts. So it's going to be a very fun day. An empty wine bottle. Remember back in the day when people used to put candles in it and let the wax drip? I think I'm showing my age. I don't see those waxy bottles so much anymore. All right, clear glass is very hard for me because you guys know I don't know anything about glass. And after all of these years of looking at it, I still know nothing. I think this is Family Circus. Was that the cartoon or the comic? Little Rocks glasses, $1.99. I thought I saw a few more. I don't imagine um, they bring a lot, but very fun to see different vintage things on the shelf. Okay. Don't see a lot. I always make sure to bend down, especially on the glass aisle. All right, I'm gonna say something. It's probably bad to say, but a lot of the people that I see looking at glass are more mature, and I think they have a tendency not to bend down for the bottom aisle. 
Is that is that really bad to come up with that scenario? That's all guesses. So yeah, so I try to always bend down to get to the bottom row of the glass glass situation. Oh, this is so pretty. I thought this was gonna be plastic. It's not, it is glass. Not especially old, but ooh, that's a pretty pattern. I really like that. I don't drink juice or I would probably pick that up. I like juice, but juice is too sugary for me. Okay, I see some bowls back here. Little gold rings, kind of cute. I don't know what they're used for. Probably ice cream or sherbet. There are a lot of them. Unfortunately, they're $2 a piece. Not bad for personal use. All right, back down. Oh, plastic Christmas cups or glasses. Yep, that's all I see on this one. Did somebody bedazzle a cup? Did that actually come like that? How do you wash it? Definitely not in the dishwasher. Okay, that is very special and sparkly. It's already lost two of its two of its uh, stones. I see some etched Christmas glasses. Let's put one of these up. Looks like a wine glass. Again, it doesn't really feel quality in the hand. Pretty snow scene. And I see a couple of them. Not a lot happening in the clear glass today. All right, it's not clear glass, but boy, is this pretty. Made in Italy. That is beautiful. Pressed glass with like a texture to it. Goodwill wants $10 for it. That's quite high, and today is not yellow tag. I think today is blue. $10. I'm going to have to Google image it. I don't think it's all that special to warrant a $10 price tag. Very lovely. I would have to sell this for 30 and this is never going to do 30 unless it's like really, really high end. But yeah, I'm thinking not. So we're probably not taking this one, but it was pretty for a moment. Wow, there's a lot of this pattern. <laughs> Has anybody ever been to somebody's house that you're drinking out of glasses that have little painted carriages on them? I've never had that experience. Who's buying these glasses? I don't even know what kind of decor, home decor, this would go in. Uh, leave a comment down below if you've ever been served drinks in these kind of glasses. They are cute and they have a lot of them. So I guess these are the juice. I'm not sure what these are, cordials or I don't know, aperitif. I'm just saying words now. These are the little bowls. Very cute, but yeah, I, I have no clue. Not a clue. I think this is the same pattern I recently picked up. I picked up a divided dish and I did list it. It's cut crystal. I think I got that right. Very sharp in the hand. Beautiful rainbow color in it. Here is, I guess, the sugar bowl. There's no top. Oh, you can even see where the spoon belongs. Wow, that's pretty. But you know what? The other one didn't sell. I mean, I just listed it a couple of days ago, if I remember correctly. But aren't those gorgeous? $3.99 each. Boy, those are pretty. I can see why people collect this and like this. Very heavy, very clear crystal. Okay, am I talking myself into this or out of this? I'm going to have to leave this because I have a lot going on. But boy, that's a pretty set. All right, we're turning the corner. Would you look at the amount of handbags in this store? goes all the way down the aisle. So if you need a handbag, you definitely want to come to Goodwill 30. And they have a whole rack up front where you first come in, um, filled with handbags, tote bags. All right, we are on the dishes aisle. Christmas 1978. This is trimming the tree. Oh, for Avon. Poor Avon. They put so much work into all of their items and now they're very hard to sell or even give away. So we have dishes on both sides. This is generally the cups and mugs, but I just spotted this enamel vintage refrigerator container. Now I'm gonna have to open it up 
and make sure that the enamel is not chipped. But these are very collectible. I have sold quite a few of these. This one is $5, and I'm thinking this will bring a solid 25 so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the cart. I will show you a comp on the screen to show you what we're talking. Let me just pull off the rubber band. So this is what the inside looks like, nice and clean. I think most of them aren't marked, but I always make sure there's no big chips or, um, or damage to it, no dents. A little bit of rub wear here, but it's probably because they were stacked, but that's a keeper. Here is a pattern I've always loved. This is Stetson's Misty Pine. So retro, vintage. I love this pattern. This is what it looks like on the bottom. I think this is Stetson. Oven proof, dinnerware, hand decorated. That is stunning. I really love this kind of shape to the bowl. Okay, a little bit of crazing and cracking, which is to be expected. $3 a piece, it looks like. They don't have a full set. They have three dinners, a serving bowl, and three salads, it looks like. They also have this, I'm going to call this a gravy. That's probably wrong. $2.99. Oh, that's so cute. Made in USA. Again, Misty Pine is the pattern. Look at this little bowl. I wonder if I bought this for $3. And I bought this for $3, $6 in. I wonder if I could get 20 for that. That is so cute. For Thanksgiving, wouldn't that be cute on the Thanksgiving table? All right, I think I'm pulling the trigger on this. I'm gonna leave the bigger dishes behind because, yeah, I don't know. I will look up comps before I make the final decision, but I absolutely love the shape of this, and it could be a creamer. It could be for syrup. I don't really know the original use, but that is adorable. Here are some plates that look very familiar, very familiar. I bought a huge set of very similar plates, if not the same ones, when I first started thrifting, and I thought, oh, these are gorgeous. I had the hardest time selling these. Mine were probably Spode. I'm trying to remember who made mine. This is B&G, so I'm going to say mine were Spode, maybe, with dates on them. Oh, my word, it took forever to sell. So, yeah, plates like this, I don't pick up many decorative plates. I just can't sell them. So, if you can, kudos to you. Here is a little salt dish, a little salt crock, hearth in hand. That is Joanna Gaines. I do like the aesthetic of this. I might pick this up for by my stove. Not to give you the impression I'm cooking a lot these days. I am not. I am truly not. Although the other day I made a big pot of chicken soup. But truth be told, it was rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. And I think I threw in um, packaged broth, you know, the cartons of it, the collagen broth, and carrots and um, corn and some kind of noodle. Yeah, so I put together soup. I really didn't cook it, but... Getting back to the salt dish, I really like this. And for $3, that is really cute. Okay, in a prior video, I had mentioned that I um, went down to Florida to look at real estate. And I'm kind of toying with the idea of a little vacation house down there, just so we can get away a little bit easier. So once you start doing that, I didn't find anything, and I don't know how serious I am to be truthful, but I thought, let me look for a vacation house, a little cottage or something. And um, yeah, and then Helene happened, so <gasps> those plans are kind of on hold. But, oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like this wood plate. Now, see, this is a decorative one. All right, I'm not getting it, but that almost tempts me. Um, yeah, back to the Florida story. So now my mind wants to pick out dishes for a house I'm not buying in Florida, most likely, because I got the whole Florida thing in my head. I love Florida. $2.99 for all of this. They are Melamy. That's a really pretty pattern. I like that. Okay, so here is the question. If you were able to buy a vacation house anywhere within the United States, let's keep it sane, where would you guys go? Where would you buy a second home? I always think about that, you know? I'm not saying I have a ton of money, but I probably could handle buying a house, you know, something small, modest, just so Roger and I have like a vacation spot to go to because we work so hard and a lot of times, you know, booking a hotel, it's just not as relaxing. But right now we are going back down um, soon 
uh, together to look at different properties. And we're going to be staying at Melissa's. And when I get there, it's just so, so relaxing. I love Florida. So, yeah, leave a comment down below of where you would buy a vacation home. Are these real jelly beans? Oh, I feel like they are. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I guess it's a decor. Oh, the peeps are still in there too. How funny is that? I think Goodwill thought like it's a decoration and they didn't throw that part of it out. Interesting. Oh, are these road runners? Oh, we love a good road runner. Do we love a good road runner? Yes, we do. One of my favorite animals. Not that I've ever met a road runner in real life. That is cute. Oh, they're from Arizona. Oh, I'm going to have to break my own rule. I kind of have a rule about not picking up souvenir items that name, you know, the location. But look how cute these are. Oh, that one says B. What does that mean? I thought they're salt and pepper. Oh, eight? Number eight? I don't know what that means. Okay, $3.99. Oh, goodness. $4 a piece? They're a pair, Goodwill. That should be $4 for the two of them. Oh, now I can't get them. It's going to be $8 for the two of them. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. All right, so I guess I'm not being a rule breaker. All right, we have some metal also on the shelf. It's a little cup there. I don't know why the cup has a shallow liner. We have some copper molds. These have a little bit of age to them. Let's take a look at this. Are these for Jello or Aspic? In my mind, I want to eat Aspic, and I'm not even quite sure what Aspic is. Is Aspic um, a Jello made with like broth? Oh, another cart coming out. So I was just talking to my girlfriend, Lindsay. She is a reseller and a wealth of knowledge. I love talking to her. So shout out to you, Lindsay. And I picked up these butter nuts while we were talking. It's almost like a pistol handle. <laughs> Again, making it up. I don't think this is called pistol handle, but aren't these nice? Here's the conundrum. They're not marked at all that I can tell. I don't see any marking on these. One, two, three, four, five, six, six of them for four dollars. I feel like somebody's gonna want these. The style is so good, and they do have age to them. So for those reasons, I'm gonna put them in the cart. Hopefully, I'll find some more of this set. That would be wonderful. And I will let you know if these sell. So you can always go over on Instagram and follow me there, Lavender Clothesline. A lot of times I post what I'm buying but more so what I'm selling and what kind of price it brought. All right, these are going in the cart. Boy, we got a scrappy cart today, but it's all good. Okay, I also grabbed a koala and a kangaroo salad set made out of teak. I have never seen these. Adorable. I guess somebody in Australia doesn't eat salad anymore. $3. They're probably just made in China, I'm going to guess, but these are really, really cute. I mean, they could be made in Australia. I don't know, but I will untape them to make sure there's no damage to them, but I'm also putting these in the cart. I think these will sell. I'm guessing for maybe $16, so I will do three into 16 for something that's this easy to ship. So a new cart rolled out, and I had to grab a few pieces while well, you weren't looking. This little basket. <sighs> Somebody hand wove this. Wove, is that a word? Hand weaved it. Can we just all take a moment and appreciate having a life where you just sit there and weave little baskets? I'm all about it. $2, so cute, so, so cute. I love this. You can put little change in it. You can put your rings by the kitchen sink, put little soaps in it if you have a tiny bathroom. Along with that, Pioneer Woman Mortar and Pestle. Pretty sure I'm putting this back because it's quite stained. If I did the whole thing with baking soda and vinegar and blah blah, blah it might come clean. So unless this brings like $50, we won't be doing that because I don't have time for that. I do have time to let it soak. I could do that with like an OxyClean. So again, I'm going to base buying this definitely on what the profit will be. 
All right, I was hoping this was a primitive wood, carved wood butter or cookie press. This one would be a cookie press, I think. But it is a clay tile for hanging on the wall. So it's more decorative, I think, than it is utilitarian. I don't remember ever seeing cookie presses that are made like a tile like this. I would think it would still work. It's really well done. But for $3, even if somebody hangs it on the wall, I think this is really good. And the last item in this little grouping, this little pot sold for the souvenir trade. I like things like this. I'm very into miniatures lately. I think because they are easier to ship, but people are attracted you know, to just picking up little small things to complete the look in their house. It's not always about the big items, so I try to keep that in mind, especially for the booth too. I'm trying to fill in the booth with a few small things. All right, I also got this. <laughs> this is gonna be the odd find of the day. This is an earthworm vintage watering can for a child. So I did look this up. One sold for $20, Goodwill wants $2. And this is a no brainer because to ship this, super easy and it's adorable. I have never seen an earthworm children's watering can. So yes, 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 all day long. All right, let's go down the next aisle. So as you can see, we are on the metal aisle. What am I looking for? <laughs> Not even sure, you know? You would think after all these years that I would go down the middle aisle and say, oh, I'm looking for this, this, and this. Okay, this is one of the things that I do keep an eye open for. I don't know that I look for them. Curtain or drapery rings. $3 a bag, and we have two bags. Wondering if these are brass. I don't see any marking on them, but there seems to be at least 30, if not more. So to put up that kind of drapery, that would cost a lot of money to buy the individual packs. I think most curtain rings, correct me if I'm wrong, are sold in packs of 10. Is it 10? I don't even know. I haven't bought uh, drapery rings in a long time, but we're gonna grab these. I think that is a good deal. And I do like these. They have the squeeze clip. Very easy. All right, I'm gonna put these somewhere. I did grab April Cornell placemats and I was hoping to find more because there are only two, two or three in this pack, three. Let's open these up and take a look. Here are the April Cornell placemats. I'm noticing they have a little schmutz on them. They need to be washed. Once I wash them, yep, they're gonna need to be ironed. So now I'm thinking, hmm, how involved do I wanna get with this? They were originally $8 each. There's the April Cornell branding. I like April Cornell's prints. These are vintage. You know what? It might be worth just throwing them in the machine, letting them soak, and then just uh, flat dry. So I wouldn't have to iron. I'll just press them out. I think that's what I'm going to do because they're $3 for all three of them, right? Yes, for all three. So it cost me a dollar each. Again, I'd rather have four or six, but I think I'm gonna take these. I like the April Cornell uh, brand name. So I'm running a comp for the Pioneer Woman Mortar and Pestle, and only one sold. A best offer was accepted, so it was lower than the price of $17.90. It was brand new. They offered free shipping, so the seller paid for the shipping and free returns. Brand new, $17.90, best offer. So. We are definitely putting this guy back because he is not new. <laughs> Somebody might enjoy it still, but at $5, that is a definite, we're putting that one back. I always wondered what these were. I think vintage or antique um, toasters look something like this. Really nothing like this, but in my mind it looked the same. So when I saw this today, I grabbed it to look it up. It is a double puffy clam shell serving dish so you open this up let's see if we could do this right on the shelf we open this up oh, there it goes and you serve cookies in it <gasps> very fancy i'm so glad i looked that up i don't know that it will sell well probably i'm guessing 12 to 15 dollars not a high-end item kind of cool it'd be cool if we could repurpose it for something else because yeah, my cookies just come out in the package when I'm serving guests. It's like, here you go, cookies. 
but that is kind of neat. All right, as you can tell, we are on the Halloween holiday uh, artificial plant aisle. Oh, very scary. I don't like this aisle for that. Let's move past that really quickly. Oh, look at the vintage Mary planter. I wish she wasn't so um, cartoon looking, I'm gonna say. Hope that's not disrespectful. I do like these planters, but I like when Mary is finely painted. This one seems to be in really nice condition though. But again, I would want it to look more lifelike, we'll call it more realistic. Okay, scanning, scanning. I don't see anything today on this aisle. Yep, that ends that aisle. Oh, these are almost cool. <laughs> almost. Somebody, I think, made these artichoke candle holders. This is strangely pleasant. Not quite sure why, but I could see this like on a dinner table or an appetizer table with like platters of things and your artichokes are burning. Kind of cool. All right, what else? Oh, art glass. You know, there is so much glass in the world now. Even if I learned glass, I don't know that I would learn glass at home. So this was $20 in the at home store. See, you now if I just saw that with a different base, I wouldn't know if that was Murano or not. I guess that's not saying a lot for my knowledge, but I mean, it's pretty. I can tell it's contemporary, but I think that's not, not that bad. I know all you Murano people are probably like rolling over laughing. I have seen Murano quite a few times and I still can't tell it, you know, from non Murano, we'll say. Oh, the pig is angry. <laughs> That's a little bank. It's like a, it's like a crabby pig. It's kind of cool. It looks like sponge wear, doesn't it? All right, we see a basket back here. I'm quickly getting over baskets. Yesterday I restocked my booth and um, lots of baskets because baskets are selling. So that is a good thing. Oh, don't laugh. For a second, I thought these were see no evil, hear no evil. No, they're just cherubs like thinking. This is almost pretty. It's got some chips to it. Sorry. It's kind of pretty, it has a few chips to it. Let's see if there's a name on the bottom. Made in USA. This is Hager. What? It is Hager. Okay. That did not remind me of a Hager piece at all. Damage on it. And not all Hager brings great money, but I like when it's a surprise that I didn't know it was Hager. I put Gibson and give them back to the kids. All right, coming back down the other aisle, we have some decorative plates that we're not even going to bother looking at. So what was I hoping for today? I don't know, something really cool and interesting. Something to learn, you know, new about something. Got a little owl here, an Avon it feels like. I think he's Avon. Yeah, I like when I find pieces that, I don't know, just capture my attention. All right, this is so bad, it's almost good. Somebody would want that, $2.99. So it is a, a rusty key with like these metal chains hanging. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it because it wouldn't bring enough profit. But that was kind of cool for a minute. Okay, there we have ornaments down there. So I want to thank all of you guys for answering about what I should do with the shiny bright ornaments and the vintage Christmas tree I got. The tree is going on eBay. I am going to ship it that way. And I've started to put the shiny bright ornaments in uh, the booth. I have individually priced some of them. I did about 20 yesterday and put them in a basket. I was just talking about something and one of the employees said, hey, there's a new cart coming out. Can I give a shout out to all of the Goodwill employees who do such a phenomenal job? I love these employees. They're just so kind and hardworking. So shout out to all the employees. All right, back to the shelf we were working on. Cut glass or cut crystal candlesticks. Interesting, $4 each. What do you think guys, should I pick those up? We do have the holidays coming. All right, but that would be $8. Yeah, if they were $4 for the two, I would take a chance on those. What else do we have? What are these? Candle holders. Huh, interesting. Yes, I'm putting them back. Interesting. 
Okay. Lots of, lots of stuff that I know nothing about. Whenever Roger and I aren't together thrifting, we always try to pick up something, you know, for the other person. And today, this is what I'm going to bring him home. A Maesto? Maesto. I don't know how to say that. Special edition 2020 Chevrolet Corvette. I think this is really good. New in box. It's not even been taken out doesn't even really have dust on it so that's interesting I wonder if somebody just kept it in a closed box or something not not any dust it looks like it just came from the toy store so I am paying $6.99 for it and I will show you comps I think he's gonna be happy with this find so I think these are William Sonoma's noodle bowls could it be a noodle bowl that's a lot of noodles I want noodles in a bowl what is this it just says California but the print is beautiful. Different birds and flowers. I'm gonna look these up and try to judge the comps. I think $5 is a fair price and they are in beautiful condition. So let's go ahead and grab both of them. And I might sell them as a set. The first comp is William Sonoma Lunar New Year seven inch noodle bowls. It's the set of four in excellent condition, $185. I don't think that's what we have. I'm looking for the exact bowl. Here's another one, again, a lunar noodle bowl, $89.99. So you can see the kind of prices that Williams Sonoma can bring. They do have gorgeous quality. I will do a Google image search before I list them that high. Yeah, these are all very similar. In fact, is this it here? Nope, a little bit different, but these all are the seven inch bowls and I believe that's what I have. So this might have been the find of the day. Yeah, beautiful. I think it's a safe bet to pay $5 a bowl, don't you? All right, don't mind my hands, they're filthy. <laughs> Digging is hard work. This is what we got from this store, which is kind of a low amount for me. Usually, you know, I fill a cart, at least one, if not two. So maybe it's the end of an era? I don't think so. Next time I cut, we'll fill a cart. Love you guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.